dogs come to the seeing eye from all over the United States and Canada, and those getting their first dog spend four weeks living at the Morristown campus. When a student comes in on the first day of class, uh, awaiting that dog, there's so many emotions that go on, the nerves, uh, the excitability. Uh, the seeing eye is great at a lot of things. I think they do a phenomenal job of matching the dog with the person. I couldn't have picked a better match for me with Candy, personality-wise, the way she's able to adapt to my lifestyle, no matter where we are. During their four weeks of training, Seeing Eye students learn to handle different kinds of street crossings. A Seeing Eye dog and its partner navigate as a team. Left. Good girl. The person provides the direction. Using three basic commands, forward, left, and right, the person tells the dog the desired route of travel. The dog will always stop whenever any potential hazard crosses its path. When I have the harness in my hand and when we're working together, it's an amazing feeling. It's an awesome feeling. It's one that's hard to describe. Rainy gets me to where I need to go. She gets me to where I need to go safely. And she's just, it's just awesome having her. It's a new lease on life and I can accomplish anything, anything at all. Dog guides are permitted inside any building or form of transportation open to the public. Training with a seeing eye dog is hard work, and when students aren't out with their dogs, the seeing eye tries to make their stay as comfortable as possible. The staff at the seeing eye is, is really amazing. They're friendly, they're welcoming, just great at training. Um, they obviously know what they're doing. The dormitory-style accommodations offer private rooms, a fitness center, and wireless internet access. It's, it's just amazing over the 24 or 26 days to see the transformation of their energy level from day one, their nervousness, to confidence at the end of the class. And, and we know as an organization that everybody that works here is responsible for sending that person out of here as a confident, independent traveler. But it's at this time that they also face a significant problem with owning a dog guide, interference. Remember, when a dog guide is in harness, it's working and should not be distracted from its job. You always want to keep good public relations in mind and to be friendly and to, to, to very kindly turn away their, their well-meaning approach. Public interference can be extremely dangerous because anytime the dog is engaged with another person, they're not watching what they're doing. It can't be emphasized enough that the public should leave well enough alone. We know everybody's kind-hearted and love dogs, but they should leave them alone while they're guiding. When students have completed their training, they are ready to return home with their dogs and begin enjoying a new level of independence.